Um, okay, explain to me, Brian, if you will, when Tony Schiavone had the sit-down with Claudio Castagnoli and Eddie Kingston, where they're finally going to be forced to explain what the problem is between the two of them and get it out and clear the air. And after they finished, explain to me what the problem is between them. I'm waiting. Excellent question. The problem is not specifically defined. However, there may be several root causes, including but not limited to Claudio refusing to shake Eddie Kingston's hand years ago. Or was it Eddie refused to shake Claudio's hand? At some point, one of them refused to shake the other one's hand on the indies. And then Claudio went to WWE and they just don't want to shake hands. They'd rather just fight. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> I don't know what the problem I, I will say this. Eddie Kingston shines in segments like this. And he feels so real. And people, I think, could get behind that. I didn't think Claudio, you know, was that good in this kind of situation. Well, I will agree with that assessment, and I will raise you that normally I, I think that about Kingston, but I would have liked to understood his side, maybe so I could agree with it in this. And Claudio, I think, in his defense, was as confused as the rest of us were, because... I am a robot from Europe. I will say nothing I, in any way that sounds like I care about any of this. I took notes on a few things that were said. Claudio said he doesn't really remember why that he and Eddie Kingston have a problem. And Eddie Kingston kept going, you know what you did. You know what you did. You know you left the Indies without doing business with me. You went to the land of make-believe. We lived together. You met my parents. I'm like, were they dating? Um, without doing, you left the Indies without doing business with me. Well, that kind of means that, you know, you wouldn't put me over in what Cherry Hill, New Jersey before I don't, but nobody, nobody's just sitting there watching this television show would understand. Did they have a know, business deal? What kind of business are they doing? What are they talking yeah, about? Yeah. And then Kingston said, he's going to put the, he couldn't even hardly spit it out. New Japan pro wrestling, strong, open weight, title up and claudio says that he will accept that match if kingston will shake his hand i think but the ring of honor title may be up but i'm not sure and then both guys walked off and left tony confused as we are so the mat they're gonna have a match and eddie's belt is gonna be up i think they said claudio's was gonna be up but claudio would only accept this match if kingston would shake his hand, I guess, when he beats him afterwards. This was not clear. It's, it certainly wasn't as easy to understand as the explanation I just gave. No, and it's been going on for a while, and the perfect place and the perfect way to end it is with Eddie Kingston getting a major pop winning in Queens against Claudio. Oh, well, there you go, because he's the king of Queens. Well, no, I think he's from Yonkers, but... New York. We support well, you, fellow New it, Yorkers and Northern New Jerseyers. The, the King of Queens sounds better than the guy that's bonkers and yonkers. <laughs> See, that's pretty good. I've never so, heard that before. <laughs> you know, do you want to go see the, the Do you want to go see the King of Queens win his match, or do you want to see the guy go bonkers and yonkers? <laughs> All right.